What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Ups Up Fishing with me, D Yang. I wanted to do something a little different, right? As I'm fishing like the Rochester, the Fox River in general, and I really want to target panfish for some reason. I want to try it out. I brought the old school bobber, bobber stopper, sinker, and the wax worm. Oh, just a quick intro, just a fun outing. It's about 4 o'clock, 4.30. And we're just going to go and try to catch some panfish off of like the uh, areas that I normally catch smallmouth and largemouth at. I just want to see what else is in this river and I'm sure you guys are curious too. So I'm very curious. That's what I want to do. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. This should be fun. I'll see you guys out in the water. A couple of dudes fishing there. A couple of kids running over there. Uh, again, the good old school wax worm. And yeah, we're gonna see who catch some panfish. I know a lot of these breaks here have a uh, wow, look at that top water action out there, it's crazy. Oh, we're just gonna go have at it, see if we catch some um, panfish. Put all my stuff in here, yeah. Just be very careful when you come out here, guys. It's not an easy cross, it's definitely very slippery rocks. So, we know there's smallmouth, we know there's largemouth, catfish, all that fun jazz. But we want to know there's some big panfish in this area. The water is almost crystal clear. I don't need my glasses to see. Whatever. I got a little ice tungsten jig on here. Just put a little bit more weight. First cast. Oh, I already got one. Nice. Oh, no, it popped off. <gasps> My drape was not set. Shoot. Crap. That was actually a good fish. Okay, I oh my oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the smallmouth bass. Got one. I got one. Dude, I got a tank. Whoa. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's a tank. Oh, oh. Wow, look at that. That's a nice size bluegill right there. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, chill, buddy, chill, chill. I'm gonna let you go. I just want a picture of you, okay? I'm gonna release this big thing right here. There you go, buddy. Got him, got him, I got him. Whoa! That's a nice gill. Jumped in the air. Whoa, look at the size of this thing. Wow. I mean, they're not like ice big, you know, but they're they're good for the spot. Oh, jeez. They're definitely good for the spot. Dude, that's so cool. Look at the color on this thing. Pretty darn amazing. All right, we're going to release it. Sweet. That is awesome. Now, just to break it down real quick, right? Now, David, why aren't you fishing by the rocks? Or why aren't you facing this way? Because if you think about it, this is kind of like a feeding uh, area, right? Everything is facing that way. They're facing wherever the water is coming down from and they're waiting for stuff to fall down. So these bait fish or AKA panfish are hanging around this area here with the large mouth, small mouth. But truthfully they're facing that way and I don't want them to see me not saying that they're gonna swim around and look around too but the chance of catching them is fishing it upstream because they got one right there and they won't see you that's a good fish that's a good fish what is this oh it's another nice panfish <gasps> wow look at that that's what I'm talking about right there guys oh dude it fell, it fell. Chew, chew, chew. I just want to I just want to look at you okay that's another nice bluegill look at that and that's what I'm talking about right there you want to face upward because the fish are facing this way and they won't see you. All right, catch and release. Beautiful. You guys are lucky I'm not keeping y'all today. So again, that's the idea, right? You want, you want to be able to be behind the fish so they don't see you. That way you're just focusing what's falling and not what's behind them. That's just my theory. Uh, it seems to work. <laughs> I just prefer to fish upstream, in my opinion. But those right there are pretty big. Like, oh, there we go. We got one. We got one. That's a nice fish. Oh my gosh, look at that. All oh, good pan frying fish, man. Just like that, boys. All right, I just can't leave. Okay, just one more, I promise. Just one more, one more. 
All right, I got the purple tight on. See, that makes a difference. Ziffley has a bigger hook and it's purple, so. Got him, got him. What is this? Whoa, it's another nice gill. Oh, dude, that's so cool. This guy's a big one. Did you get hooked before? I don't know. But this guy is pretty darn big. Look at that. Pretty nice bluegill. He got hooked before, look. All right, catch your lace. Oh, there he goes. What is this? What is this? What in the world? Dude. Guys. Seriously. <laughs> This guy is so cute. I gotta get a picture of this guy. Almost 10 pounds. Easily. I'm gonna go on top. All right, let's see my theory is correct. Once I'm out of wax worm, that is it. Like that, I'm done. Unless I brought some plastic or something, but I doubt it. So we're just gonna go like this. You see this? I'm standing right on top of them. And I'm sure they see me. I'm sure they don't appreciate me standing right here at their feeding window. There you go. That guy came under the tree. Wow, look at that. Look at the tank. Hope he's not the same guy. Give back my wax one. Right. It's a nice fish. Like I said, good seven inches, six inches. I personally enjoy pan fishing, so I don't mind it. Whoa, there we go. There we go. That's a nice fish. Oh, look at the orange belly on this thing. Wow. Dude, check that out. Dude, that's a tank. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's round as heck. Sweet. Beautiful fish. Off you go. So the only way I got those fish to eat was because I'm, I'm fishing under a tree, right? So they're not really, they don't really see me as much. There we go. That's the spot right there. Oh, I just took it. Whoa, right away as soon as it drops. Whoa, look at this orange belly. Cool. These things are sweet. This spot is loaded. Okay, I'm gonna work my way up here where uh, all the fish might be. And I'm gonna let that place load up. I'm gonna go back and I know there's some big bluegills in there. But I'm gonna approach it differently. talking about oh dude he's huge oh my gosh look at that oh chill 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 bro that's a big bluegill right there i am crazy for not keeping these wow that's awesome wonder where they be That's a nice gill. Oh, dude, this thing's huge. Yes, there we go. Oh, dude, this thing's pretty big. Oh, he got it. Oh my, he doesn't even have a fin. Oh, yeah, he does have a fin. Whoa, I freaking knew it, man. I gotta get a picture of this guy. Oh, no, 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 chill, chill, chill. Chill, bro, I don't want to lose you. Calm down, right? Calm down. Ah, uh, oh no, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Darn it. Shoot, oh well, I got I got a video of it. Dang. Well, I just want to go check at the spot that I wanted to try, but there's uh, there's people there, so I don't know if I'm gonna want to try it. 
Uh, it kind of sucks. Yeah, I won't be fishing over there because, yeah, they're over there. I'm just going to finish it off here, I guess. All right, so I don't know if you guys can hear me, but we're pretty much done with the waxies. We're just going to go ahead and, you know, if I catch a nice big bluegill, I'm going to edit it in there. If not, it's fine. I'm just going to... So we're just going to throw just mini swim bait around and just jig it around the areas here. It's definitely a crappie lure. Oh, I actually got one. I actually got one. Whoa, whoa. Dude, I got a giant. Oh, my gosh. I actually got a giant now. Let's go off of the plat. Oh, my. Am I recording? Yes. Oh, dude. This thing is huge. All right, let me get my phone out real quick. I got to sit down. Oh, no freaking way. Off of the little mini swim bait. All right, guys. I'm being very careful. I don't want to drop him. He's huge. Wow, that's crazy. Up you go, buddy. Whoa, whoa, he's still blowing up over there. Okay, he's still there. He's still here. Whoa, he's hitting my bobber. He actually got it. He actually got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He actually ate my uh, jig. Dude, what's going on here? He went after my bobber. I don't know what he did, but he got he got my lure. Oh my god, it's actually a nice molly. Whoa, he actually got it. That's so cool. Oh, I'm closing it with this if I land this guy. I'm not gonna jinx it though. Oh my gosh, this is a like six pound test too. Oh, that's so sick, bro. That is so sick. This is the guy that's been eating all the minnows. Oh look, they're blowing up. They're blowing up. Oh my gosh. Whoa, that's crazy. Barely hooked. Oh my gosh. Barely hooked. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh no, no, no. Come back, come back, come back. Come back, come back. Come, come to me. Yes. Oh. Bro, that's crazy. I'll put the little crappie jig here. That's what you talk about execution right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is a solid fish for a crappie setup. Dude, that's insane. Wow. All right, let's get you on hook. I said I was going to do uh, smallmouth fishing later. And here I am catching a smallmouth off of this little tiny tiny crappie jig that I had no hope for dude that's insane oh my god back he goes whoa that was cool what the heck just happened <laughs> well ladies and gentiles that wraps it up for me that was pretty cool. Like, I did not expect to catch that many. Sorry, let me just close my door real quick. I did not expect to catch that many bluegills. Like, they were good size. They were actually like seven to like nine and a half inches. I caught those two really nice ones. So that was pretty cool. Got me really excited. I'm definitely gonna have to try that again. Again, I'm out here at Waterford Dam, Wisconsin fishing the Fox River. So if you guys like this kind of fishing video where I dissect the rivers like this, let me know in the comments down below. It would be my pleasure to just go out, do some random pan fishing like this. I didn't expect the bluegills to be this good here, so that was pretty cool. Until then, I'll see you guys out in the water.